Howdy everybody, this is Tyson with Fuel Systems Research and Development. I want to do an overview of this vapor system to let you know how it works and to show you all the changes that I've made to the one that was on the tiller. I moved it over to this generator, as you saw from my previous video. Um, but what we have here, this is the air filter. And that filters out the air, obviously, going into the vaporizer. I have a shutoff valve so that when the system is not running, I can close it off and not let any of the gas evaporate out and it goes into a T because I have two ports at the bottom of this bubbler system that allow air to flow into the container and when gas is sitting in there air is sucked through the fuel and it pulls off the fumes or the vapors it agitates the gas is basically what it does and it creates the, the, the fumes and then the fumes are pulled through all the stainless steel that I have in there, the stainless steel wool um, and then exit out the top here and it exits out the top and it flows up through these tubes and goes in to this T housing right here and then what you see here those two plastic pieces are check valves so that if I have a back flash it'll help suppress it and it won't allow the pressure from a backfire to blow back into this system. So I have those check valves there to prevent the uh, pressure from blowing back into the system and blowing fuel out of the intake. And from there the fuel goes through the T, the, the air vapor mixture, and then it passes into this T combines together and it goes through this flashback arrestor. You can see that arrestor in a different video. I'm, I did a detailed video of how to make those. Um, and then it goes from there into this flange here. Just a regular half inch flange, pipe flange. Um, I have a gasket between there to seal, to seal it. And then it goes into my carburetor um, and I still have the ability to, to choke it and put it on full. So, um, passes through there and it goes up into the intake. And my engine will run. Now, the fuel feed. This is how the fuel feed works. I have a container right here so that I can measure spe a specific amount of fuel. Pour it in there. Have my valves off. Um, and this is when all the lines are dry. There's nothing in them. I'll pour fuel in this container and fill it up. And since I have the valves closed, the valves closed, it'll line up at the same spot every time, so that I have uh, an exact amount going in when I run it on my carburetor and then when I run this on the vaporizer. And these right here are the valves that either allow the fuel to go to the carburetor or to the vaporizer or both if I wanted to. Um, and this valve right here, this is the one that goes over, as you can see, and ties into the vapor system. And how that works is when I have this valve open, um, the air that's coming through here will help pull the fuel into the vaporizer and fill it up with fuel to the level I want it to be at. Um, and then this other valve here, goes down to my carburetor. As you can see, it's open right now. The one to the vaporizer is closed because I was having problems with my generator running normal off the carburetor. It would run just fine off the vaporizer, but wouldn't run off the carburetor. And yeah, anyway, I had this intake line wrapped with some uh, fiberglass exhaust insulation. And I didn't realize that I had wrapped it around the um, cable right there that operates the throttle on this thing so it wasn't allowing it to run uh, so I took that off and that solved that problem I actually took my whole carburetor off made sure it was all clean and everything's good to go on that so now I can start doing some good runtime testing but show you follow it down back and under and you can see I can show you from the top side here I don't know if you'll be able to get a good picture of or view of it, but it's 
go from over here. You can see that it. Um, where are we? Sorry. You can see that it ties into the carburetor. So. Um, I do have one thing that I did not mention is this is a secondary um, air inlet right here. You can see the valve right through there. And that's my secondary air inlet to control the air to fuel ratio and I do have an air filter on that as well. So all the air is being filtered in this system. I have the check valves in place so that if I get a backfire or when I get a backfire the pressure doesn't blow back into the vaporizer. I have the flashback arrester installed um, so that the system is safe and a, f a fire cannot go back into the vaporizer either. And I have a shutoff valve on the intake so that I can, can close it so that gas does not evaporate out when I'm not using the system. This is a rundown of how it works. If you feel I left anything out, please ask questions about it. Um, and I'll be doing some runtime testings here in the near future. So, I'll do runtime testing whether it's good or bad, whether my numbers are good or bad, so that we can see um, the difference between the vapor on this cold vapor system, the way that I have it, versus running my generator off the carburetor. So, Tyson with Fuel Systems Research and Development, take care.